Hi everybody, this is Bonnie from Bonnie's Creative Place and I'm coming back with you with card number two from our online class, Peaceful Deer Bundle. You had to purchase this bundle, this bundle which is the stamp set and the punch that went with it. So if you purchase this set, then you got the online class kit. So let's get started. So for this card, we have to have a base, which is our standard base. Eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to fold this right in half, just like so. And then, let's see, what did I, glitter, glitter, I got glitter everywhere. I don't know where this glitter is coming from. I'm trying to get rid of it. <laughs> so anyways, we got that, so we can put that off to the side because we don't need that right now. This is what we need. Then we have another one that is just about a quarter inch smaller. So I think this would be five by, let me see if I can remember, five and a quarter by four. That's what it would be. And then you have a scrap piece of oval shaped for our grading. Okay, so here we go. We got this here. First thing we're going to do is we are going to stamp our deer. Okay, I stamped the deer first. And I stamped them towards the bottom of the page. So we're going to put one deer right here. Well, actually, we're going to put the buck on first. And I'm going to have them just a tad bit up, but not quite all the way up. Like, you want about, it might, I'll show you when I pick up the thing. I guess it's, you know, about that much. you got to have room for your snow. So it's about a quarter of an inch up from the bottom. Okay, then we're going to stamp the other one here, and we are going to stamp her kind of right there, just like that, okay. Then we're going to bring in the antlers, so we got to put the antlers on the little, on the first guy here to make him a buck. I'm going to have to turn and tip, and if my head's in the camera, I'm very sorry. But I want to be able to see where these go. I think right there. Very good. Yep, just like that. All right. Then we are going to go and we're going to stamp the snow. It's like they're walking through some fun snow here. And I kind of put this little bit of a snow in front of his one hoof. Like that. And then I turned it and flipped it upside down for the lady. And I had it going upward to make it look like more of mountains and, you know, that they're walking through some deep snow there. Punch out our circle. I almost screwed this card right up. Okay. We're going to go in as far as we can on the card like that. So after you punch out your circle, we are going to get out the inks. We need the Bermuda Bay, the Highland Heather, and the Flirty Flamingo. And then we need our circle. Now you could put this little guy off to the side so you don't get them all ink or anything. But that's what you could do with him. And then we are going to start with the Bermuda Bay. And there's no right or wrong how far you go down. And start out light. I got a little heavy handed there, but that's okay. We're going to be blending and blending and blending. And then just keep blending this color like this. Kind of have lighter pressure on the end. And then light pressure this way. Heavier pressure. So that's why I'm starting off. I'm going heavier here, moving it down to light. Heavy here. And then I'm going to just keep moving it down, moving it down. Okay. So now we're going to take the purple and dip it in. And we're going to start right here. Now I'm just going to go very light and I'm going to get it in the blue and it's going to get into the pink, but that's what we want. We want that look. Okay. Sometimes you have to turn your, your paper and just keep, keep going like this okay 
We will blend all those colors in more in just a minute. Okay? And just keep going however much you want through there. I kind of want, so I'm going to use like the tip, the tip of the brush. I'm tipping it. I'm going like this more so I can get more of a blend in there and get it darker where I want it. I need some darkness right here in the middle. So yeah, so that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to come back with my, with my, um, blue and I'm going to blend that blue and that purple together right there in the middle. I want it to blend and it gives it like a darker, I don't even know how to explain what it gives it. It gives it like a darker color. <laughs> it's just so pretty. And this is just how I did it. And each to their own. If you like it lighter, then stop, you know. And then we're going to bring in the Flirty Flamingo at the bottom. And we're just going to blend that one right into that purple. And however much you want. And just keep going. Now we're going to bring this back in and we're going to sit this right down in the center here the best we can. We don't want to move it. We want to just leave it right there. Rotate it to where you like it. I like it just like that. Now we're going to bring in the mossy meadow. And there's one thing I'm going to change from my card to your card is on my card. This is one reason why our greeting is here is I decided to stamp off on this. When I did that, it didn't hardly show up here. So I wasn't very happy with it. So I'm not going to stamp off on it. So I'm just going to stamp it regular and see if I like it better that way. I don't know. I may not. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it comes out. So this one, I'm going to make sure it's good and stamped everywhere. Mm -hmm. And this one we're bringing down almost almost all the way down right about there there we go oops and it moved and that's okay we'll just put it back we will definitely just put it back there I should have held it with my finger but I wasn't thinking okay and I kind of like that little freaking through it's like it's not a perfect um a perfect what do I want to call it what is this tree called pine tree Oh, oh my gosh, Woo, my brain. <laughs> so then I have one up here. So we're gonna put one right here on this side, one of these big trees. There we go, and that didn't come out very good. I will, I will take my blend marker, my dark, let's see. And I will just blend that in. There we go. No one will know any of the difference once that dries. There we go. Then we're going to take the um, the trio of trees. There's three of them. And we're going to put them right here. Up here. And over to the side a little bit. Uh, would be better if I had my Stamparatus. Then I wouldn't have these mistakes. And if um, I let it sit for a minute. There we go. And then I'm going to try this one over here without um, doing the, let me just make sure this is right where it's got to be. Yeah. Okay, here goes nothing, everybody. I didn't ink off, so we will see. I'm going to hold it down. It's done good. Yeah, that looks better. I like that a little better. Yeah. Okay. So there's those. So now we need our blends. And the blends I used were soft succulent, light and dark, and black, I guess, for the hoofs. Oh, wait, the hoofs are already black. 
Okay, so I did them both in the light and then I colored him a little bit darker. So I kept it very simple. So I will probably fast forward this, but this is the light and I'm coloring it on soft suede. If I said soft succulent, I'm very sorry. I meant to say soft suede. And there are the deer. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our back and our piece of white. And we pop this out. And we are going to add pop dots to the back of this one. Okay. So I have some little pieces here all broke, cut up. So I'm just going to kind of use them first. You want to really make pop it up around the frame pretty good so that it shows a, a difference so this is where you really want to take your time and put some dimensionals around the outside Bring this in. I didn't score this down tight. I definitely want to do that. This helps keep your piece flat better. And if you score that down good, that will happen. That'll be perfect for you. And then you bring this in, kind of center it, which I'm not having much luck there. <laughs> there we go. Center it, just like that. Then we're going to take and we're just going to put um, some adhesive on the back of this like moon or whatever sunset that I kind of did in the background kind of tuck it it'll it's a tight fit but it will definitely fit right down in there there we go so tuck one side a little bit before you just a little bit but don't push it until after you get it down in there I got a little bit right here there we go use your fingernail use something use a pokey tool I should have took a pokey tool and went like this around a little bit. There we go. Now it's all in there. Isn't this coming out really pretty? I just fell in love with this card. I got your little, um, little oval and we're just going to stamp it right on there. I think I gave you guys extra ovals in your kit so you guys, um, if you made a mistake with it you could do it a couple times I got ink up there okay I don't know I definitely need to refill my thing okay I think this is centered one two three here we go and then we'll pop it off there we go and then on this one we're gonna let it sit for a minute because it's, it's pretty moist so why that's wet still so why that's sitting there I'm going to add there are these little um, sequences. I gave you guys a pinch of them in everybody's little package, a couple pinches. I put in a package for you guys. So the way I find it easiest to do this is I take my, take my pick tool and I take another um, tool. If you have two of these, use two of these or tick something, a toothpick, something other than just, um, you know, you're gonna need the pick tool. And then we need some liquid glue. And I am going to put this on a scrap piece. We'll put it on a piece of this, some right here. There we go. You can either do it that way. You could put the dots around. I'm gonna bring the original card in so we can see a little bit where they're going and what I'm doing with them. So I am just going to find um, a little one here. Well, actually, 
this white one. But you could lay yours out however, I'm just doing it out of this little bucket. And then I'm going to bring it over here and I'm going to dab it just a tiny bit. If I got too much, dab it off because I think I got too much on that one. And then I'm just going to stick it down. Okay. And then I'm going to find right here, it looks like I have some tiny ones. And this is how I'm going to do the whole thing. So I will definitely fast forward through this part. But I just wanted to show you how I did it. Okay, so I did that right there. So that's how I did that. I think our greeting is dry enough. It looks drier. And I'm going to flip it over. I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive on the left side of it and then I'm going to take one Stampin' Dimensional and I'm going to put that on the right side and then I'm going to stick it right here just like that. A little, not Cricut though. <laughs> and there we go. And that was that card. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, like, comment, subscribe. And I'll be back with card number three. Bye-bye.